If you went several days without drinking water, you'd be in a world of trouble. But the idea that 8 glasses a day is optimal, well, that's soggy logic. In 1945, the Food and Nutrition Board of the National Academy of Sciences claimed that the body needed two and a half liters of water a day, which is actually 10 cups of water a day, even more than the widely referenced eight, without citing a clinical study. Not only did people take this recommendation as fact, they also ignored the next sentence, most of this quantity is contained in prepared foods. From the looks of it, it's clear that we're a culture obsessed with getting those fabled eight glasses of H2O a day. In 2016, bottled water sales exceeding soda sales for the first time in recorded history, and there appears to be a new artisan bottled water brand introduced to the market daily. But while ensuring that you're adequately hydrated is important, how many of us view hydration doesn't quite jibe with what the science tells us. Below, we've found the most common ways you could be drinking wrong, and what you should be doing instead. Watch up, drink up, and don't make these water mistakes count as one of the habits that make you sick and fat. Number 1. You discount the water content of solid foods. About 20% of our daily H2O intake comes from solid foods, fruits and vegetables in particular. Although it's good to be mindful of how much water your body asks for, you can also hydrate with fruits and veggies, most of which are largely water. A cucumber, for example, is 96.7% water. Lettuce, celery, tomatoes, watermelon, grapefruit and green peppers are more than 90% water. Unlike pure water, however, these foods are rich in a range of nutrients and vitamins. Eating a significant percentage of your water is an excellent way to achieve your health and fitness goals. Number 2. You're drinking more water than you need. The vast majority of healthy people adequately meet their hydration needs by letting thirst be their guide. If you're forcing yourself to chug through gallons of water, you might be drinking too much. And yes, there is such thing as too much, especially since there's no scientific proof that drinking extra water has any health benefits. Drinking too much can cause hyponatremia, which is also called water intoxication, a condition in which the sodium levels in the blood become dangerously low and can result in swelling in the brain, seizures, and coma. Under normal conditions, you'd have to drink a huge amount of water to experience hypernatremia, however, if you're a serious runner or a particularly salty sweater, you could harm yourself by downing H2O2 quickly. For these people, sports drinks such as WTRML and WTR can be useful in replenishing sodium and electrolytes in the body. Number 3. You're avoiding caffeine unnecessarily. You likely know that caffeine can boost your metabolism and help you focus, but there is one widely held belief about this morning beverage that might be steering you in the wrong direction, coffee's diuretic qualities. Recent research shows that caffeine doses between 250 and 300 mg, about 2 cups of coffee, will minimally increase urine output for about 3 hours after consuming it. In other words, the myth that drinking caffeine causes you to excessively pee is largely just hype. Specifically, a 2014 study published in the journal PLOS One found there to be no evidence of dehydration with moderate daily coffee intake. So, don't avoid your cuppa. In fact, not only is coffee a great source of water, but it's also the most common source of inflammation-fighting antioxidants in the American diet. Number 4. You leave a glass on your nightstand. One thing that isn't on the list of 30 things to before bed to lose weight? Drinking water. The reasoning is quite intuitive, if you drink too much right before bed, you may find yourself waking up multiple times in the middle of the night to urinate. Instead start to taper off your fluid intake about 3 hours before bedtime, which will allow your body to process the water and use the restroom before snuggling under the covers. Number 5. You're still drinking water out of plastic bottles. We've said it dozens of times, and we'll say it again, stop drinking your water from plastic bottles. These throwaway bottles are commonly made with bisphenol A, or BPA for short, a hormone-disrupting chemical that can negatively impact fertility in both men and women, may promote cancer, and has also been been linked to obesity. To stay hydrated on the go, buy a BPA-free refillable bottle. Number 6. You're not pairing water with lemon. Not only does throwing in a couple slices of lemon to your water add some zing to your bland beverage, it may also help you lose weight. D-limonene, a powerful antioxidant found in lemon peels, stimulates liver enzymes to help flush toxins from the body, according to the World Health Organization. 
Not only does the lemon peel help rid your body of inflammatory toxins, but the extra bit of vitamin C from the juices that seep into the water will help your body curb cortisol levels, and that's good news since cortisol is the stress hormone that tells your body to store fat. Number 7. You forget to grab a glass upon waking. If you aren't drinking water in the morning, your metabolism is likely taking a hit. One of the easiest and cheapest ways to give your metabolism a jolt is to drink 20 to 32 ounces of water 2 to 3 cups shortly after waking. Why? During sleep, your body's metabolic function slows, and your body just went around 8 hours without fluids, which are essential to hundreds of metabolic processes. Healthy Me suggests rehydrating before stressing your body with any other food or drink. People who have implemented this report less bloating, more energy, and a smaller appetite without throwing back a couple glugs in the morning. Number 8. You don't down one between alcoholic drinks. Alcohol decreases the body's production of antidiuretic hormone, a compound that helps your body stay hydrated, so when you move on to that third round of booze, your body becomes increasingly dehydrated. And when you're dehydrated, you can feel sluggish and bloated, two things that will act against you if you're trying to drop a few pounds. Make sure you have at least one or two glasses of water for each drink, and that you never drink on an empty stomach. Number 9. You don't realize your body wants water, not food. A study in the journal Physiology and Behavior suggests people inappropriately respond to thirst over 60% of the time by eating instead of drinking. And that means you're eating more calories than you need to. So, next time you're hankering for a snack just after you finished a meal, try knocking back a cup of water before diving into your snack drawer and wait 20 minutes. If you're still hungry, then you can eat something. Number 10. You don't steep it with green tea. Water is still water even when you put a tea bag in it. To get even more bang for your hydrating buck, why not make that tea bag green tea? Researchers find that this leaf is particularly efficient at blasting flab thanks to its concentration of catechins, a group of antioxidative compounds that fry adipose tissue by revving the metabolism, increasing the release of flab from fat cells, particularly in the belly, then speeding up the liver's fat-burning capacity. Sounds like a nutrition hole in one to us. Do let us know in the comments. On what topics you want us to make our next video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe our channel for more informative topics for your healthy life.